Call do you have to each of us on stream? I would melt. I, you know what? That's fair. Let us begin. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Hang on a second. Stanley was happy. Oh, good. Good for Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh. Something he would never quite forget. Okay. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Sandwich. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. No. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Is, is that my cue? Oh, that is my cue. Hmm. Can I zoom? You, you my zoomer? Oh, the sensitivity is really high. Uh, settings, general mouse sensitivity, lower. Oh, that didn't do anything. Huh? Oh, that didn't do anything. Weird. Oh, well. yeah, it's fine. I'm sure I won't need to like fucking murder people or anything. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley so decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So, is the volume good, chat? Is the volume good? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who farted? I hate Mondays. Oh. Number one dad. Yes? Good. Hmm. And they all numbered. Wait, hold on. Where's 420? Is there weed? Tell me there's weed at 420. 422. 423. 421. 419. Oh, 420. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it yeah. didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, dude. You don't have to rub it in. All right, I should I can turn it up a little. Sure, I'll turn it up to eighty. Okay, let's go. What is happening here? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, <laughs> fuck you, narrator, you little bitch. I'm this going to the right. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Psh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. I'm just taking a walk. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Agreed. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, I want to drink. He said drinking it in! And I'm not allowed to have a yes. drink? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Shut up, narrator. Room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> really worth it. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to keep looking at these chairs and paintings. 
Wow. Chairs and paintings. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and oh, reflected wow. poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone <laughs> left. Chairs and paintings. Wow. Everybody blooby wow. Look at all these chairs and paintings. Oh my god. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when wow. a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Wow, look at these chairs and paintings, chat. And plants, too. There's some mugs. Man, I could just spend the rest of the game here, honestly. Wow. You know what's the best part about this? I don't hear a single word from that smug asshole narrator. And that brings me joy, personally. <laughs> All right. I suppose because I want to, and not because anyone else suggested it, I can proceed to, you know, the rest of the office, see what's around here, you know, because I want to do that. Not anyone else, because me. Let's go, let's go find out. Let's go find out what's up, you know. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Ha 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 ha! Wrong again, bitch! Stanley was so Woo! bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's go this way. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every Liberation! Really? <laughs> something? Do you have zero Woo! consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Fuck well, off! I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you <laughs> to show you something beautiful. <gasps> Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Aaron, right, what's your chance? Now listen carefully, this okay. is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Here's the dilemma. <laughs> Here's the dilemma that I'm experiencing, chat. <laughs> is that at this point, I feel wrong following his instructions. I feel like I'm going to walk in there and I'm just going to get completely dunked on. I'm going to be this little submissive, obedient cog in the system. And I just can't handle that. But here's the problem is that this man is mind gaming me, right? Because he's like, ha ha, little bitch Stanley is, is going to walk through the blue door because I said red door. So I actually want him to go through the blue door. So I'm going to say red door. So if I walk through the blue, he's going to be like, ha ha, I knew it. I knew you would do that. And so for that reason, I'm going red because I have a feeling that if I go blue, he's going to be like, see, I wanted you to go blue. And that's why I said red. So fuck you. I am going red. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. No! Here, let me show you. Huh? Huh? I should have never went. I should have never went in the red door. I should have never went in the red door. I should have just been a little. Huh? Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Huh? Bro, I should have never listened to that guy. I listened to him once and... Here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Huh? If we just stay right here, right in this moment... Fuck in you! This place, Stanley, I think I feel... 
happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> huh? Get me out of here, dude. Can I jump? What is going on? Huh? What? Okay, that is really pretty. But also, what the hell? I guess I'll just stay here. It's kind of cool. I want to see what happens next. Happy birthday, thanks, Sparks. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. Shut up. Oh, it's green now? Hmm. Dude, I really regret following instructions exactly once. No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Huh? Where were we? Is this guy just... Huh? I broke him. He didn't say anything. I broke him. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Huh? I wanted to jump off a tall building before. But now that he's telling me not to, oh man, I'm really, I'm really, I don't know. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding, <No>! bitch! <laughs> oh, thank God you lived. You mm. had me worried. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't Fuck go back you. to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm doing this because you deserve it. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? <laughs> my God, is this really how much you dislike my game? Oh my God. You throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. <laughs> You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. <laughs> yes! The situation I could not be more clear, narrator. <laughs> oh, I could crouch. Oh, neato. Whee! Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. You're right. I just wanted us to get along. You're right. But I guess that was too much to ask. I am getting it a kick out like of it. You wanted to make a choice after all. Oh my god. Well, this one is yours. My, dude, I'm being gaslit. I'm being gaslit, okay? I'm being fucking gaslit. I'm not- I'm not falling- I'm not- I'm not- I'm being- Nope. I'm not falling for this. I'm not narrator-pilled, guys. I do what I want, okay? I do what I want, okay? I want this. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> Oh my god, we actually restarted. Oh shit, we actually restarted? Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply huh. missed a memo. Huh. GG. GG's, guys. GG's. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. So. Door on my left, eh? <laughs> Sucker. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous. But eager to get back to business, right. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Psych! Okay, so now this time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. This time, I'm taking the blue Look, door. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Wait, hold on! I'm not your enemy. There's a way I can leave? I realize that investing in your... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform <laughs> and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> That guy just read me like a book. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that was really accurate. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, man. Yeah, this man, this guy really read me like a book, huh? <laughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley <laughs> knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <sighs> the lounge was sublime, a work of art. What but eager to get back to business, anyway. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ahem. Nope. All right, so I'm taking the blue door, chat. It's incredible he wasn't I'm taking the blue ago. door, okay? Look, down Stanley, there is clearly bad. On the wrong foot here. Up there is the where it wants me to go. So I, I go this way, and then I have blue door. I've worked six hours and spent them all watching blue. <laughs> but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make Fuck you! Really? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration zero for others? Zero consideration for others. Are you convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley walked through the blue door, you said? Oh, thanks. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Wait. 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 Wait a second. I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first oh. place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Oops. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Wait, huh? There we go. <laughs> A third option. What? This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Whoa. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Huh? I. It's a. It's a new door. Okay. Let's take it for a spin. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Huh.
Best game I've ever played. Two out of five. Oh, well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. You enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. It didn't cause you excruciating pain. Big steps we've made here today, Stanley. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh! Worldwide leaderboard? Huh? Whoa, what? How can you beat the game in two seconds? 21.3 skipped the intro. Only the worst 3% of player chose the blue tour. 98.9 .9 are more attractive than Stanley. How long does it take you to get the correct door? Compete against others to... I have not been here for seven hours! Objectively rank 7328 out of seven... Huh? Error friends list empty. Okay, GLaDOS. Shut the fuck up, dude. A dead rat is offline. This is your superior. <laughs> hum. I'm beginning to think that this is just portal without the portals. Okay. Fine, let's go this way. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, Honest answers, please. Fuck you. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you <laughs> It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and <laughs> tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the artwork <laughs> will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm, not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Tell me you're gonna throw mm -hmm. me in portal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. Uh -huh. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Uh. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps <laughs> for some sort of twisted in your erotic creep purpose. Tower. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So Ooh, far, fire I love the fire about this game, Stanley. Uh, and it seems there's even me. more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Wait, what's Firewatch? Is this a different game? Is Firewatch genuinely a different game? Wait, so Firewatch is just a different game? From your creep tower. You should play Firewatch. Should I just close the game now? Go play Firewatch? <laughs> yes, but, but who Firewatches the Firewatch? Play it next. It's a real separate game. <laughs> All right. Can someone the flying? Can you DM me to, to play Firewatch tomorrow?
Now what? Oh. Huh. Fire on the actual game. It's on Steam, I think. Okay. Well, it's time to play Firewatch now, guys. Let's do it. Let's play Firewatch. Whee! Why are the propane tanks up there? Oh, this is fun. No, 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 no. It can't be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, chat. Are you lagging? Is OBS lagging here? Hello? Big laggers. Aww. Huh, there's something about this that's uh oh wait, this direction's fine. There's just something in this direction that's making it lag. Weird. Huh. Is it on purpose? This direction's fine. Look, this is fine. It's intentional, maybe? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. But oh, Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Oh. <laughs> off into that, that thing. <laughs> that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know what, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong, I know what's wrong. It was borderless, um, but when it's borderless, it lags more. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's or find not. another game. Preferably something with. Hmm. All right, he's gonna get me out of here anyway. It's fine. It's probably just very poorly optimized because we're, we're not meant to be in this in this game. Walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> Wait. So where okay. am I going? I think this will be just the thing. Am I praying Rocket so this League? Is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Bro! Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Fucking try me. Fucking try me. But also, hold on. Why is my video being weird? Try my medium. Oh, yeah, that makes it a lot better. Okay, cool. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's All see. Right, how do we get lost? How do we get lost? There are lots of cars lost? here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, sports I think it's ball. sports ball. Oh, what wait, fun. wait, 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 wait. There's we a hole here. We should run the bases and do a touchdown No, no, there's together. a hole here. Yes, I think Deep. surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, my God. Dude, I feel like this ball is gonna crush me. Wait. Hold on, I'm a car now. Whee! <laughs> We're playing Rocket League now. Dude, there is no way in hell that this game was... How did it just get me to play Rocket League? Okay, I got rid of the it? lag chat. Are you winning? Is this fun? Are you winning? Is it son? better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Yes. Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, Whee! but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Hello? Huh? 
Oh no. Oh. Oh no. We're on the fifth floor. That's not good. Wait, no, this is where it can- Huh? Huh? What? I don't like scary games, chat. Is it scary? Jesus. Okay, does it actually get scary? Someone tell me for real if this gets scary. Or not someone. Mod. A mod tell me if this gets scary. I don't like scary games. I was just trying to be a little bitch. I didn't mean for it to get scary. Mod? Flying? Does it get scary? No, it doesn't get scary? Okay, cool. Alright. Cool. I just want to make sure there are no jump scare. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's huh? gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Now! I can wait. <laughs> Hello? Oh! Damn it! So I went to the void. All his co-workers were gone. What could it be? Okay. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Huh. Well. I... That was... Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he you know entered what? the door on his left. Fuck it. Let's go to the door on my left. Can, let's let's go chat. I went to the void. I played Rocket League. Let's play the Stanley Parable, huh? Let's play the Stanley Parable. Seems like a cool game. Let's see. What's up? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Well, this is just asking to be altered. Oh, man. How conformist of you, bloody? Huh. That's... <laughs> Shut up. Everyone is unique. You most of all. I'm more unique than everyone else? What is hot? Teenagers. Number of slides in the slides. Slides, charts, charts, slides. <laughs> Quarterly pie chart profits. Where to which charts in the same slide to pick the same information? <laughs> Rate of increase in graphs per slide. <laughs> please, no more charts, please, base. <laughs> What? <laughs> did anyone see that? Something in a personal conflict. Why did we hire you? Six two people start a fight right now. You're both of them. <laughs> what are your dreams of success? Transcend. Charts. Less air. Spring break. Hope. Metamorphosis. Mitosis. Nature. Lunch. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. How <laughs> to solve dispute? Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressively. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. <laughs> Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header. There was some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a common productive work environment. Huh. Huh. We need 
more no we need less reviews a lot of percent teenagers size the demographic space between the teenagers <laughs> throw something in the ideas bin one no more bins trash cans remaining of the ideas on firing of me huh okay let's go this way Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Fuck office. Fuck you. Whoa. You think you can control me? Little bitch! You ain't got but shit. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why mm. had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stan. Wait, maybe, am I looping? He thought to himself, hold maybe on. Maybe I am crazy. Wait, no, hold All on. Wait, chat, hold on. Blinking mysteriously out of existence Wait. in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example... Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Okay, I wondered Why that earlier. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Chat, this is getting and meta. for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. What, you were think I'm walking through repeating? them? I'm not repeating Please, shit. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. Am an I explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It huh? was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining mm. so lucid? Hold on. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered uh? Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Huh? I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have yeah. to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Bro. Now hearing the voice speak these Can words, I get out of here? Stanley. This is too meta. All, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Oh Did my the god. Voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely if he could just He would prove it. He would prove that he was Bro, I'm in getting control, punished for not listening, aren't I? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh, He okay. felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. There's no Let way. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. No, there's I'm no way. with this dream. I wish it to be over. Bro. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Dude. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. Stanley doesn't have a all wife. I want is my Stanley's life. Stanley's gay. the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Dude. Everything will be fine. This is what I get for going downstairs instead I of upstairs. Okay. Shut up. <gasps> Stanley
Stanley began screaming. Please, <laughs> someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. Oh my God. Be, can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Wait, she what? She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then <laughs> collapsed dead on the sidewalk. What? And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. What the fuck is going I know on? What is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. What is then happening? she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And Bro. by extension, the rest of her life. What is even she happening no anymore? So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a uh, that ending was fucking How long miserable. Was I sitting there, Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes, days, centuries. Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. What the when Stanley hell? came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go to my boss's room. Yet there was not a single Because I was here clearly I was clearly wanted a uh... Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. See, when you go downstairs, it just puts Stanley you in this existential loop. So I'll just go upstairs. Jesus. It's not that that was that like scary, it was just kinda boring. You just you know, I like I get it. I'm downstairs and and I can't get out of this never-ending loop, but like, man, you really stretch that out like some fucking silly putty in an egg, dude, huh? Ooh. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Fell to death, other game downstairs, right? What was the fourth? Extreme bathrooms. Guys, I have to pee. Let's find another, um, let's find an entertaining wall to stare at. Hello? What the fuck? Business strategy? Bro, you're putting a gun to a panda. Huh? What? Uh. I am the most expensive boss. Oh, I can go up? What? What's more up than this? Yeah, Westford Stanley, yeah. <sighs> what, does this... this... Oh. Why is it vibrating? Hold on a second, wait. Is it ever gonna end? Mm -hmm. 
I feel like the shaking is getting more violent. Well, no time like the present to go and pee. Uh, let me know if we Willy Wonka out of the building and just start flying around. BRB! Oh my god, we're still in the elevator! Wait, are we still in the elevator? Huh. Uh, I guess we probably should do something, huh? Interesting. Oh! We've arrived. Oh. We never went anywhere! Huh? Um, I see. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Oh. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on I the keypad, I want to do 6969, honestly. I was looking for it. Up. Amazing. What he the? stepped into the newly opened passageway. What the hell? Wait, okay, but quick question. Damn, I can't do 6969 anymore. There's a massage room, not an elevator. Interesting. Huh? I pressed up, thank you very much. Loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Stanley has a he chest? felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Perhaps he's just gained sentience. Whoa. Cool. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Huh? Fuck you, I'm going anyway. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Um... I guess we'll find out! Mind controlled, yeah. Camera. Employee observation protocol. If, despite adherence to protocol, an employee leaves the office during work hours and a system loop has failed, you must terminate. Please note that employee 432 is a test case. Well, the need for any protocol 2A may seem unlikely. Um, procedure 2A to 2C. Uh, need not apply in the event of 432 attempting to leave the office. Contact supervisor and then contact 435 prize pool. If a monitoring uh, screen fails to initialize contact maintenance, uh, switch control over to a desk screen. In the case of class 4 event, close system gates and consult with supervisor. In the case of a class 3 event, close system gates and consult with supervisor. Prime your consoles for info dump. Interesting. Oop. 
Now the monitors jumped to life. Whoa. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Yo! And his co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Wait, what, what's that glowing box? One of them, eternally monitored in this place. 431. Where freedom meant nothing. 431 and 234. There's a glowing box in 431. Interesting. My wall is present. This mind control facility. Oh, was too I just fired somebody. That couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, okay, probably. Yeah, okay, let's do it. No. He refused to believe it. Fuck he you, I just believed it. it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Wait, that's pretty it was meta. unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Says. Happy or sad or what? content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. What? And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Disagree. For he Let's would try dismantle it. Dismantle the controls once and for all. Activate power cells. No, 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 no. We're turning this on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, man, I was trying to play a song. All right, activate fuel cell. Interesting. Let's go activate the fuel cell. I want to turn this on and mind control some people. Hmm. Ooh. Mind control awaiting instructions. Five? Interesting. Oh. System power. This looks nice. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obli- Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they no. kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? Control? No. Oh, Stanley, <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But what you, do you need mean? to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh. nuclear detonators are set to explode. What? the entire complex. No! Oh, until detonation then, hmm, let's say... Um, Bro! Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means i barely know where to start that was five what's that you'd like to know where your co-workers Here's are. four a moment of solace before you're obliterated all right i'm in a good mood you're gonna die anyway i'll tell you exactly what happened we don't want to know what happened i erased them 
I turned off the machine. I set you free. Oh. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. We're Sometimes free. when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office for Oh, we have to start with one? Endlessly <laughs> and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or Is I let one? it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This mm. version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Where's My the other goodness, button? Only 34 seconds left. I found but five. I'm enjoying this so much. Four. You know what? To hell with oh. it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Wait, so. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? It said one. Is it that you have no okay, idea let's try one, two, three, four, five. what you're supposed to be doing okay, hold right on. now? Or did you just assume when you One, saw that timer that something in this two. room was capable of turning it off? I mean, hold on. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every Three. little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. All right, I'm gonna no, press these four. Colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Shut up! Everything, anything, something here will. You save made me. the game. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul. Watch, I'm gonna press you five, and nothing's gonna what happen. Your in this place is? That <laughs> machine didn't look like it was there before. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. Oh, so but nothing's gonna happen. For you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made a oh. whole. Oh, oh fuck! Zero five two one. Is there a you zero somewhere? To control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So you Imply can't. goodbye and play for oh. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 Aww. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Bro. Another choice. What Make is happening? Up. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. <laughs> Bro, what just fucking happened? See, a problem I was experiencing is when the screen started shaking, I felt like my body was shaking simply out of, like, brain effect. That's wild. That should not be happening. Right? That should not be happening, right? Huh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Dude, where, where'd that glowing box go? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Huh. Another ending happened? Brain effect, yeah. Dude. Maybe there was a zero button. I'm gonna do zero, five, two, one. Maybe there were just no buttons that actually did anything, and that guy was just fucking with me, like he said. And Bluey became Stanley? Yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, so he deleted them? He told me that. He said, you're going to die anyway. I'll just tell you, I deleted them. Huh? Interesting. He just fucking deleted them? All right, let's, let's do exactly what he tells me. Let's see. I'm just curious. I'm just so curious. Yet, I'm just there was so curious. Not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up Let's to his see. boss's office. Hope coming to Let's a staircase, see. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Let's, office. Let's see how it goes. I'm just so curious now. Let's see the bathroom ending. Guys, let's do the bathroom ending. And jump out the bathroom window? I cannot. 
Darn. Wait, this is different. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. So, say, that's a lovely purse. Dude, that text is different. Are the paintings going to be different, too? No. What if we go down? Okay, no, that does nothing. Man, this elevator just doesn't fucking go anywhere, huh? I see. Hmm. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Never noticed the what text changes? That's funny. Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing <laughs> through papers on the boss's desk, <laughs> pulling books off the shelf. Looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's <laughs> desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried <laughs> below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. What if the real parable is the Stanleys we made along the way, Bluebeer? Perhaps. Maybe. 2845. Ah, I'm sorry, Chad. Did you hear something? Hmm. Astral Storm, thanks for the tier one stuff for seven months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, <laughs> and Stanley got the hell along with the storm. <laughs> whoop de do. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chad. I'm pretty sure sixty nine, sixty nine works. <laughs> I'm fairly certain 6969 worked. I'm pretty positive. That just worked. Where am I? Really dark. Oh, okay. Boop. Got him. Got him. I mean, honestly, this narrator is kind of, he's kind of in the palm of my hand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But what if I didn't? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had to- Ah, just kidding, you little motherfucker! Nope, still on board with death. <laughs> The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Are you sure? I think I'm in an infinite loop point, now. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna do neither of the things you want me to do. I'm going to walk backwards. What are you going to do now, bitch? <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 
As the machine whirred into motion, as Danny was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from the brain. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, well, see you later. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh. I'm sorry, what? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Huh? Did I just beat the game? Huh? Wait a second. Office layout. Corridor. The two doors. Interesting. Is there information I can gather here? Send two open door. Very first con free piece of the stale and parable design. Once we're in the rest of the game, emerges an extension of it. Exploration of the contradiction. This room posed. Hmm. Pacing in this opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game, found from Stanley's office. Section has been added and altered throughout development through the core of its iteration. So, is there somewhere else I can go? Don't suppose. Hmm. Wait, huh? Wait. Interesting. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Boss's office. Screens from the development of boss's office. Office clock. Accurate. Mind control facility. What? Stanley jumped in the river. What? 
Wait, hold on. My headphones unplugged. Now then, this elevator for sure will get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be. Listen there to recording Donald from the game roughly three separate times over two years. Your clip from early takes were not used in the final game. Huh. So is this actually the credits? Interesting. Hmm. Maintenance room. Wow, we went in a lot of different directions, huh? War zone. Stan would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. Really, shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Oh. I see. Ultra Deluxe version at the Game Awards. Screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement. Wait, there's a money ending? There's a money ending? Hold on. I would like the money ending. The lounge. I feel like this is spoiling me. Apartment Hiner. What? Wait, there's a vent? Interesting. Money ending is called hosting a subathon. True! <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see where we're headed. Let's get out of here. Wait, is it just different Stanley's offices? Can I leave? Freedom ending as it existed in the beta. What? Ooh. It was like jetpacks or something? Part of the zending. Pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. <laughs> Yo, KJ, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Hell yeah. That's more time to the subathon, baby. Oh my god, Chad. I just realized I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to wake up. And we'll still probably be over a hundred hours. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Zending is when you repeatedly jumped out the stairs? True! But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Huh? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Okay. I didn't think it actually quit me! I thought that was part of the game! That's fucked up. You you gave me false information. I trusted you. You bitch! This is the story of a man named Stanley. You bitch! She said to quit! What the hell? Well, that's just ridiculous. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting It was room. being Perhaps existential? Perhaps missed a memo. Hmm. Huh.
Hmm. I wonder if I do everything he tells me to do. What happens, you know? What happens? Wait, hold on. Wait, huh? This is a door that has not been oh, opened yet. New content? Interesting. What does that mean? New content. Wait, what? N new content? Pause, champ? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Huh. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Ah, I found the DLC! Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Proud of me oh, for finding well, the DLC. Sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. But look, I made you some content. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, here we go. Right, finally. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that the DLC? Last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. It's just gonna be nothing, right? It's just gonna keep on telling me that there's more content and nothing's gonna happen, mm. right? I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give mostly me the content, Stanley. Tedious. Give me the content. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I can jump. Park. People hop or pee pee hop. Imagine the whole room just explodes. Okay. Is is that it? Surely that's not all <laughs> new content. There has to be something else, right? Good. Okay. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. This is pretty meta. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's Please 20 don't. hours of new content right there. Please don't. Yeah, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Wait, what is this? Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally <laughs> accountable. Ugh. 
It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. What's up, Rin Ducky? No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh? Wait a second. Wait, this is different, though. Wait, but this is different, though. This is not the same. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. What? I want to show you something. No, fuck you. I'm afraid that I'm just going to go back into the same loop as before. Okay, fine. I'll go in the vent, you little bitch. What do you want? What is it? Oh. 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 Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned Dude, out to be? Dude, are you really going to be doing this and how this much whole time? The Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. What? Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the memory zone. What it's the where I've been fuck is going all on? My favorite memories, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Dude, what is happening? What is this? Are they just? I feel like they're going too meta, my dude. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of Is this the whole re-release? Them talking about how bad back the re-release is? Video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Go outside, don't play for five. Wait, that's real? Unachievable, it is impossible to get this. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh, I got that ending, huh? Deals tough choices. British Academy Awards. The look I made you some content. Loving memory of little Sam. Oh. Sweet on our memories of Oh. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games oh my God. to be more than games end up less than any form of art. What is Stanley this? Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever Am created. Am I stuck here Did now? You hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, <laughs> it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Bro, I'm so confused. Was this what the game is? Person of the year. Maintenance. Huh? Knowing your city. Before you can possibly know where to begin your new street vending operation, first you have to get to know your city. I'll use Georgetown as an example. Wait, hold on. What? Might be the most meta run. I see. Did a trans person get their name out of it? Oh, this huh. time from GameSpot.com. 
Dude, are you just gonna keep on reading reviews of your own fucking game? Commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Dude, it didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It Are you just serious? needed to be left alone. Can to this guy the shut the fuck up? Time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh my god. Chat, let me <sighs> out of here. These were simpler times, Stanley. Kara, hi! But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. The serious room. Hi! Hello! Thank you for the raid! What's up? How's it going? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! We're playing the Stanley Parable, and it's my birthday. For another hour and a half, everyone has to be nice to me and give me money. And then tomorrow, I guess it'll just be a normal day. Uh, but for today, hi, hello. Um, good evening, everybody. I'm bloody. Uh, this is a, this is, this is my birthday subothon. Um, I'm playing the Stanley Parable for the first time ever. And this game is kind of wild. I will not lie to you. It has been very weird, and we're stuck in this hellhole memory loop. After an hour and a half, you have to be mean to bloody? Yeah, I'm going to bed in an hour and a half. Birthday during Pride Month? Oh, yeah. I was born at the dawn. Alter, thank you so much for the two months for three months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Kara, Pop. Kara, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much. Dude, I'm not used to not like pressing anything. <gasps> Hello, hi Ariel. Hello, look, that's my sister. Wait, everybody say hi, Ariel. Everyone say hi, Bluey Sister. Look, it's my sister. She's in chat. She said hi. <gasps> it's my sister. Everyone say hi to my sister. She's my favorite person on the planet. Hi. Hello. That's funny, we just got raided by a different Kara. It's funny that you're saying hi to hi to um to chat Kara and streamer Kara. Both Kara's in one hello. Hi everyone. Hi. Oh, everyone's being so nice and saying hi to Ariel, my favorite human. My favorite human. How are you, my dear sister? I hope you're having a great time. Wait, okay, so can I go down here? Oh, it's open now. Wait. Hang on. Wait, hang I on. Call this part of the memory zone before. Oh. What's this? What's down here? Oh. Oh, oh no. Steam reviews? Oh, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> Not recommended. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. The individual paths themselves are also not very fun, not offering much to do throughout each path, and requiring some rather tedious nonsense to get to certain endings. I cannot recommend this game to anyone, even as a so bad it's good game. You'll more than likely wind up bored by your third or fourth playthrough. Huh. Huh. Yo, KJ, thank you so much for the gift and subs. Also, I feel like out of the corner of my eye, I saw Kara being horny. Hang on a second. Hold on. What is this? Hey, bloody. Oh, the girls are looking fantastic. Thank you. I sneezed at such a high frequency just now. I hurt my own. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, that's really funny. Hi, Kara. Thank you. I decided today is birthday day and um, I wanted comfy pants. And so I decided uh, I decided that to, to counteract the sweatpants and make sure the outfit was still 10 out of 10, I would just wear a very titty shirt. So I wore a very titty shirt today. What? Kara being horny? No. No. That's impossible. No, no, no. Chat, should I have my strawberry swirl cake or my chocolate swirl cake? Which swirl cake should I have? Strawberry or chocolate? It is unclear. I do not know. I don't know which one I want. Can chat decide? 
both? No, I cannot. I'm asking one or the other. Slash pull. Half of both? No, I, I would hate that. Which one? Choose one. Don't tie. Strawberry swirl cake. Chocolate swirl cake. Duration one minute, please. Decide for me. And don't you dare tie it. I will scream. Ow. Let's see. Porcinola's dose because I do not have enough room in my body for both right now. I want one and not the other. Oh my god, it's neck and neck. You, you, you better not tie this. You better not tie this. Legit vote for me, not tie vote. Okay. I trust you. Hey, hey, bloody, have you considered that us tying every poll is because you specifically tell us not to? Much like how you treat the narrator of the Stanley parable. Oh, wow. Where did Looter's message go? That's so weird. Where did it go? We should do. Looter say something? I could have sworn she did, but like, I kind of forgot. Huh. Weird. So weird. Hmm. Oh, strawberry sorrel cake one. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna go get a strawberry sorrel cake. <clears throat> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The and narrator, narrator is obnoxious, obnoxious and, and unfunny. Unfunny? Unfunny? With his humor dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny? Unfunny? I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful <laughs> of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights. Profound insight. philosophical I insights. I, I can't even imagine. I don't remember the rest of what he said. See you at any at seven a.m. months. Good night. Wait. What? 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 Hope not till Saturday. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Where am I? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the, While idea, the idea of the game, of the game is good, is good. Mm -hmm. for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? I'm not you preachy, I'm am preachy. I? Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Yes. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. I know how much hurts. fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. <laughs> what is Perhaps this fucking Stanley game? Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. John Mulaney voice. Not funny. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty upset about John Mulaney. I really enjoyed his everything. And then he's just been transphobic. And that's just a bummer. Doesn't it suck when people are like a mild friend to the gays and everyone like, you know, is very happy about them and embraces them in a community. And then suddenly they just do something shitty. That sucks. Entire video game narrated by Alexa. Oh! Have you ever heard of Portal? <laughs> I assume we're holding the cat mate until tomorrow? <gasps> I don't have the cat mate outfit yet, nearly. This is the thing that I will do, but I don't I don't have it right now. <laughs> J should I order it right this very moment? My intention was to do this kind of thing like after the stream and do like a full like 12 hour stream with it. I don't know how to encapsulate the cat maid for Happy birthday. You're wonderful and your oh. content has meant a lot to me while I begin my transition. Oh. Ruby love, thanks for being you. Thank you for being Ruby you. Love. As much as you thank me for being me, I thank you for being you. You're incredible. 
chat gets scammed? No, I just, I just haven't ordered it yet. Did, wait, did you think that it was going to happen tomorrow? Did you think it was going to come tomorrow? I was going to help. I was going to decide with you guys what, which one I should order. Do we want it to be pink? Do we want it to be black? Want there to be like a little keyhole where the titties are? I don't know. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I need chat's help to decide. Wow, there's a lot of options. Whoa, that one is, that is not appropriate. <laughs> Start practicing your nya now. What do you think voice lessons have been for? I'm assuming anything, but chat definitely did. <laughs> Deaf keyhole? Yeah. Tell me more about this keyhole you speak of. Nice boobs, though. <laughs> Megrim, you gotta you got simmer down by like 32%. You gotta pump the brakes like a, a small amount. Alright, let's see what this is. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Huh? Huh? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players I have feel been like for, and I'm, I'm going to press it. And no more the whole place on and on and on. No, will no, be no, no, no. decrepit and, and destroyed. It's a game for the people. It'll and be like the Portal, silence, where I wake up a thousand years later. Get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. You know what? And it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is. So I'm actually so interested. You know what? This is pretty interesting. We all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination works backwards, <laughs> the deduction therefore becomes impossible to make. Yeah, what if we just sit and went listen? On for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. I, I want to hear this out. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So <laughs> okay, it's the same thing. It's gonna keep. It's gonna keep looping. Fine. It's gonna keep looping. Oh, you're back. You see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary Wait, on, verbal is flourishes it? and it's... lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in two video games. Of course. <laughs> well, there, sport. You Just really did catch two. me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Mm. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. Oh, that yeah. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting Dude, longer. Dude, I'm telling My you. God, there's no way. I'm telling you, this Stanley, is how it's going to go. You're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. 
You fucked idiot. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Well, I guess you won't mind more time. Wait. Wait, huh? Is he gone? <laughs> Wait, no! I wanted more dialogue! Hmm. Shit, I feel kind of bad. Hmm. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs it's down review and make decades. all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much. They said, first he didn't entertain us, now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of a... <laughs> In the middle of his fucking sentence. What kind of a game is this? It is so unclear, Ariel. It is so unclear what kind of game this is. This game has been fucking bananas. I don't know. I know as little as you do. The end is never the end is never the end <laughs> is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. We're gonna we're gonna skip past this timeline real quick. The end is never the Is, what is Keck W? Keck W is a... Uh... Wait, hold on. Is there something around here, like behind here, ever? Is never the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time you lose in the game, you just end up back in the game. I get it. Oh, ladder. Nope, nothing. I don't like this loop chat. I'm not gonna lie. I'd prefer something change now. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking called it. Bloop. Oh. Perhaps a door? Dude, watch the narrator on the next on the next press still be complaining. Watch, he's still complaining. Watch this. Just watch it. Just watch. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's so pretty now. Well, that's nice. Nah, he's not dead. He's just gonna get complaining in like a minute. I, I called this at the beginning, okay? Getting too creepy? Yeah, this is a pretty creepy one, Ariel. This is a pretty creepy one. Should probably go to bed. That's fair. Yeah. This game has some very creepy endings. I think that they could be triggering to you. Um, I'm not sure if this one is, but some of them can be, Ariel. Because one of them in particular, I think you would not have enjoyed. But some of them are, some of them are really funny. Some of them are really weird. This is pretty though. You should have been here for the start of it, Ariel. Wait, hold on. Wait, Ariel, are you still here? Hold on, hold on. Um, Are you still here? Are you still here? Can I just show you what the beginning of it was like? Can I just show you what the beginning of this was like? Well, then I will leave. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, before you go, before you go, before you go. I need a warning? No, no, no. I would not continue if I knew that it would be something that would be poopy for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Wait. Wait, Ariel, you're still behind. That's what I asked, what kind of ending this was? Oh, I have no idea. I've never played this before, but what kind of game this was? Again, it is still unclear. You are? Okay, cool. I just want you to see what the beginning was like. I just want you to see what the beginning was like. I'm going to leave before it gets... Wait, no! Wait, don't go! 
I want to show you the beginning, Ariel. You found the baby? Oh, I found the baby. It was like my first ending before. Oh yeah, it has been quite weird. Wait, did my sister leave? It's okay if she left. I need to sleep before it gets... <gasps> I feel like I keep on telling you that the thing I want to show you, you will enjoy and is quite funny. But if you'd like to go, that is very reasonable. It is, is it scary? No. And it's not scary. Okay, it's fun. Hold on. Can I call you, Ariel? Can I call you? It's not scary. It's very funny. I feel like you're on a bit of a delay. Okay, fine. Okay, good. All right, here. I know what a parable is. I just want you to see what the game is like. You're playing the Stanley Parable. I'll stay for funny, but not for scary. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't worry, Ariel. Don't worry. Or even say hi. Never in all his years of the company had this happened. This comp. Mondays. Oh. Here, we will watch a little bit. Mobile slightly delayed. Yes. Yes. Good. Watch just a little bit of this. Hmm. And they all numbered. Wait, hold on. Where's 420? Is there weed? 419. Oh, 420. I'm totally deleting it. It's okay. It's okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it yeah. didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, dude. You don't have to rub it in. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, fuck you, narrator, you little bitch. I'm this going to the right. This was the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, nope. this is what the game's been, Ariel. I'm just taking a walk. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Agreed. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, I want to drink. He said drinking it in! And I'm not allowed to have a yes. drink? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Shut up, narrator. Room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. <laughs> really worth it. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to keep looking at these chairs and paintings. Wow. Chairs and paintings. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected wow. poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. Chairs and paintings. Wow. <laughs> Everybody blew the wow. Look at all these chairs and paintings. See, oh this my is god. The game. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when wow. a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Wow, look at these chairs and paintings, chat. And plants, too. There's some mugs. Man, I could just spend the rest of the game here, honestly. Wow. You know what's the best part about this? I don't hear a single word from that smug asshole narrator. <laughs> and that brings me joy, personally. This was the first five minutes in the game, and I'm so proud of myself. All right. I suppose because I want to, and not because anyone else suggested it, I can proceed to, you know, the rest of the office, see what's around here, you know, because I want to do that. Not anyone else, because me. Let's go, let's go find out. Let's go find out what's up, you know. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Ha 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 ha! Rock again, bitch! Stanley was so <laughs> bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, see, mm. this is what the game is all about, Ariel. So far. It's mm. just being a disobedient <laughs> cuck. All right, well, let's go this way. To this guy. <laughs> Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not sure I just wanted really you to get a gist of what the I game is because right now it's in a weird spot but this is what it's been so far is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time there's someone you've been neglecting Stanley someone you've forgotten about please stop trying to make liberation <laughs> really 
something? Do you have zero Woo! consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Fuck well, off! I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you <laughs> to show you something beautiful. Well, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right, what's your chance? Now listen carefully. This okay. is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Here's the dilemma. <laughs> This is just a good watch. What is it called? I want to ask if Vin heard of it. It's called the Stanley Parable. <laughs> I love how he's like, Stanley walked through the red door and I just stop and I just go, here's the dilemma. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is this is what the game has been. Um, yeah, see, it's not scary. There's a lot to it. There's some very interesting stuff and it's pretty funny. Wait, hold on. Oh, this is the only other thing I want to show you, Ariel. Wait a second. Hold on. You something? Yeah. Beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Hello, hi, Excel. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Stanley walked through the blue door. You said, oh, thanks. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's the proposed purpose? Unclear. It's really just... The game. Stanley walked through the blue door. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. It's very, it's a very interesting. I've never played a game quite like it, but I've been enjoying it a lot. I mean, it's quite fun to stream. It's, it's just a very fun experience. Anyway, Ariel, thank you so much for swinging by. I'm going to continue the part of the game that I'm on right now. And in case it gets too existential, I feel like now would be a good time for you to head to bed because it's midnight by you anyway. But I'll be streaming and awake in the morning. And I love you so much. And you're my favorite human on the planet. And if you want to call and say goodnight, you more than... You definitely can, but also otherwise, I hope you have a great night. Everyone say good night, Seaster. Everyone say good night, Blubby Seaster. Everyone say good night, Blubby Seaster. Good night, Ariel. I love you so much. You're the best. Okay, I told you I'd visit. Yes, thank you. I'll visit again tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. We're all looking forward to it. Good night. Love you. Good night. We're all looking forward to it. Isn't my sister the best, chat? She came and visited me at my work. Isn't that just so sweet? Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Alrighty, let's do it. Wait, did Dalton Mork say press the button? Oh, my sister's calling me. Oh, shit. I pressed the button. Ooh. Hi. Hi. You can hear a voice other than the narrators. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really needed one more voice other than the narrators. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sleep. I hope you have a great night. How long, how long are you planning on staying up? Um, I have no idea. I guess I'll just see how it goes. I mean, whenever I want, I can just go to bed and sleep. So. Okay. Yeah, whenever I get super tired, I'll just sleep. But I'm having fun with this game, so I'm going to keep playing okay. it for a while. Are you having chase and ketchup tomorrow? No! I thought that that's what they wanted. If I gave them everything they wanted, it, it would be it would be insane around here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> there are limits. Okay. I get it. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. Have fun. It was fun. I'm so glad that you had a good fun time. 
Yeah, it was lovely. Lovely. Yay! Well, I'm so glad. Okay, I love you so much. You're awesome. Have a great sleep. And... Oh, I was gonna burp. Damn it, it didn't work. Oh, oh Have a no. great sleep. Okay, thank you so much, you too. Love you. Love you. Oh, man, I keep on trying to burp. Okay, good night. Bye. Okay, love you. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye. Isn't my sister just the best, chat? Isn't she actually just the best? Best Easter I could ask for. Wait, hold on. I thought it was grass and greeny. Now is it just dust? What's next? I don't like that noise. What's that mold on the wall? Yeah, no. Wait, did the building go sideways? <gasps> I'm glad we told my sister to leave because this would be triggering. So do we just explore now? Might have skipped a bit too far. No. This is just the DLC. Yeah, at least there's music. Oh, come on! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Should I just do Stanley everything he tells to me to, to do, chat? Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, oh, wait, new, new content. Hold on a second. Oof. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. I need yes, to check this out. I have out. something very exciting to show you. Something very exciting to show you. Okay. New, new content. Pog. But look, I made you some content. My daddy made you your You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Super Mega Which Ultra Deluxe? I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Holy shit, my turnaround and the music was perfectly lined up. Perfectly lined up. I need a clip of that one. I need a clip of that one. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? The Think end is the never the end again. With a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. That? Calling it the Stanley Parable it's, 2. It, why does it look so like a startup in here? Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. I, now why does it look like a fucking Silicon Valley right startup there. in here? It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Huh. Long term franchising potential. One more Stanley Parable. Two better Stanley Parable. The color red, leverage holistic value. Paradigm shift, brick and mortar approach. Envelope client-centric marketing. Sequential mind share. Wait a second. 
I want to work here. <laughs> Thanks for attending my meeting. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. <gasps> oh, lovely. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. <laughs> game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Who took the red marker? Me. Scrum? Oh my god, I haven't heard a word scrum in so long. This is how you know it's a fucking startup. Wait, one. Zero, the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable. Two is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable. Two is the... Huh? This way to the show floor. Nope. Fuck you. Damn. There's a bus? Expo hall? What is happening here? Why is there a... Dude. It's a convention hall? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Reassurance bucket. New feature. Please, no screenshots. Merch. This t shirt is the best new feature. Bro. Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Office decorations, infinite hole. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this what one. What if I press print screen? I think screen? that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided <laughs> on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, I was really hoping that them saying no screenshots meant that when I pressed the screenshot button, something happened. You know, it is my sometimes birthday. when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Fucking well, scared. someday it is. <laughs> you dick. How am I making foot noises if, if I don't have feet? Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. New and easy on. achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Hmm. Oh no! I'm out of jump circles! Rats. Free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Huh? I would like that. It's just gonna say Stanley. Infinite hole. Collectibles. Epilogue. Office decorations. Reassurance bucket. Hmm. Where's the exit? Or rather, what is the exit? So if I go this way, the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Oh, here it is. Here your name in the game. I'm ready for it. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself. What do players really want? <laughs> too big, too small, the just right. The most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right <laughs> now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever Fuck name you that do. is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. 
Just play along. I promise you'll love it. OK, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. <coughs> I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. What? Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Uh... Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. That was you. you. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Jim. Oh, it hits even harder the second time. <gasps> Dude, if this were the uh, how only many... new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be How many gyms do you think I've played Let's this take game? A break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, how many gyms do you think I've played this game? What are you thinking? How many gyms have played this game? Yeah, he's so happy. Nairbly messaged me. What did Nairbly message me? Lost his marbles. You cannot lose that which you had never had in the first place. Might find this recipe handy. Great Canadian Heinz ketchup cake. Fuck you. I suppose I could Wait, allow only this? people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Oh, what does this do? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Infinite hole, it won't end. Are we going to end up playing Portal? Settings world champion. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Did I do it? Rats. Okay, well, I guess we could just go to the infinite hole. Hmm. Should we get the achievement first? Let's do it. Free achievement, get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. I it's feel as like... simple as that. I feel like everything's gonna blow up. Why do I feel like I'm gonna blow up or something? Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm Bro! Not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed oh in the sequel my to God. at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans. I'm going to the, the world, infinite hall. We've been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. <laughs> what else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The infinite hall. Let's go. I'm done with this. I'm going to go play Portal. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap oh, forward for video games is More a hole infinity. Question marks science. Wait, is this the hole? <laughs> what? That looks like a slide. Okay. I guess it's portal time, huh? Infinite hole. This is triggering my anxiety. But, I suppose there's no other way to go. We go backwards! Whee! You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. 
Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Wait, the hole's not infinite, is it? I want to hit okay, the ground, Stanley. aren't I? I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated <laughs> yeah. the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinite. Great. Now, I'm very <laughs> excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. I saw the bottom. I'm, I stared into the, the, the anus of the hole and I am not, not going back there. I was about to hit the bottom. Nope. Nuh-uh. Nope. No. I, it will take so long to get back here. Well, anyway. Now what? Let's go back. No! Go back down? Bluebee's not gremlin enough? I'm tired. Okay, that's just a quote that didn't need to happen, okay. Again. Again, again. Hold on. Coward stream, SMH my head. I can go to bed right now and I wouldn't even be ending stream. Let's go in the, research, let's go in the reassurance bucket. What's up, Pentakilla? Hi. Hey, chat. I only have like... of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it well i am happy to say that after much consideration i've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game it's the stanley parable reassurance bucket you see stanley anytime you're holding the bucket a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart it's true as long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You can may I, even come to can I hold the bucket? The gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your He's arms. not going to give me the bucket. He's going to say it's the bucket is broken or not working yet. For me, than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. He's gonna say, oh, wait a second. It's not working yet, but it will when it does. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Wow, he fact, laughed really hard. Can I hard. say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? He laughed really I hard. Think just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Can I take the bucket with me? All right, now we go in the hole. With Does the anyone button. give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Wait, they all say get well someday now. All right, well, I think it's about time for wait a second. Yep, yeah, that's it. Whatever. I don't care. I'm taking the bucket and I'm jumping off. I'm done here. This is what the people ask for anyway. Chaining and chill the back seat. Yeah. It's okay. They're not back seating. I think everyone just wants me to jump. And you know what? That's fine. I'm taking the bucket with me. Okay. And I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating <laughs> I think that, that I we should say to. follies really instead of, of downies. Of it feels like there has probably like been derogatory use to it at some point. How oh, about we go ahead 
and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind I haven't said a fucking word, you shit. Just call the hole mostly infinite. That's not how that works. works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. You know what? Fuck you. I'm staying down here and I'm keeping your bucket here too. Good night, chat. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, is there really no dialogue for this? Hmm. All right, good night. Wait, I can't do that. I'm going to actually fall asleep. Holy shit. She lives here now. This is my hole. This is my gamer hole, if you will. <laughs> no! How do we just get back there? <laughs> I'm actually really going to bed. I'll see you later. Riley, are you now in charge of the, uh, uh, uh... Again? No. Alright, let's do the exit. Let's get out of here. Alicia, thank you so much for the two months for 32 months. Holy shit. Thank you. All right, we're doing the exit. We're getting out of here, chat. That's it. Riley in charge, and who after those? Bees, right? All right, let's get out of here, chat. I am getting a bit tired, so I want to see what this ending is. Oh, goodness. Um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I, I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. The collectibles really are right hate here. I to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Okay. Oh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run huh? around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply huh? collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. What about all these creepy fucking statues reaching towards? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> collect them all. Can you find them all? Can you find them god, all? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. So there's just no reward. I see. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Thank you. What is that? Weird. That is weird too. Why do I still have the bucket? Think I know a backdrop I want? Oh, which one? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent Real video game. Real was the collectibles we found along the way. I don't know about work. that. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? It's the Here reassuring it bucket. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. What was that noise? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's what was that noise? Sort of... okay, Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. 
Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy ah. creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Like the one on the bottom left of I me. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic mm. of the first game. I wanted fans Ow. to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Stanford is like maybe the narrator it. at all. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. <gasps> are you fucking kidding me? With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. I'm about to close a this fucking game right now. That says with bold and uncompromising conviction. I'm this about to close this game right now. Parable two. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> I'm about to close this oh, game right perfect. now, dude. Go ahead. Take a look. How are we playing the Stanley Parable 2 now? Huh? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big Wait, look at the decorations. Where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every Too fast, day. too furious, too discovered what. Although might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Okay. Alright. Well, now there's decorations, I guess. For the Stanley Parable 2. Gone. What could it mean? Get well someday. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Yo! Wait, Rio, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm taking some tums, chat. Thank you so much. Was the duration? Emma, yeah. Don't forget your bucket. Wait, what do you mean bu- Oh! It's the bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. That- That's it? <laughs> Why? Bro. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him <laughs> that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to Dude, be Dude, is it just the bucket this now? Better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Rhea, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Blue. We can't screw around too long. We're glad to see you playing the Stanley Parable. Very funny game. It will be a lot. This game is a lot. Yeah, the subtle one will be a lot. And yes, Truly, the game has been a bit. With the bucket was a no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket was Stanley wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Never. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I'm so fucking- it's a bucket game now? In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Oh. 
Okay. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Huh? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. <laughs> Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press J to take me to work with you. <laughs> the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Wait, but where's the bucket? P to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? <laughs> I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for I you disagree. is effectively transfer a liquid from one location it's to a my different friend. location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. The bucket is... Don't listen to the loud man. Press T for us to go back home. <laughs> bucket is... <laughs> okay, Bucket. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Dude, what is this fucking game? Press V to ignore anyone in your life. <laughs> it's sad. I suppose he doesn't need it. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. <laughs> you believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press R to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. I feel like... Press P to re relive the same day with me over and... Oh. oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Big fan of how the shadow just showed it sitting on the chair. So much more than just a regular bucket. Press J to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... I'm closing my eyes. It said close your eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Can I open them? Chat, the bucket said to close my eyes. What do I do? I'm keeping them closed. Did I miss something? Should I have not closed my eyes? Bucket! Bucket, where are you? All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? <gasps> bucket, yes. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Ah. <sighs> 
It said to go back to work. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Huh. Now I have this bucket. Still it, no one was here. It said close your Stanley eyes. Stanley okay. needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where Wait. he'd find answers. This broom closet was never able to open before. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom oh, closet. Stanley. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's a best. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Dude, what is this fucking game? Be huh? You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley <laughs> figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Huh. The sequel's not- We're still in the sequel? Good gravy. What if we go in the elevator room now? Maybe the elevator is different. Maybe the elevator is different with this bucket. What if he whispers bucket instead of Stanley? Nah, he says Stanley. Damn it. I was really hoping he would whisper bucket. Chat! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire. If not for that bucket. I knew it! <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. Oh my god. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Ah, oh, I was so close. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? The bucket did was know. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. All right, chat. Wait, no, it was a collectible. Fuck. Damn it. The elevator raced down, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Uh -huh. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I guess if the bucket says so. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Wait. <gasps> Chat. Let's talk for a sec.